What started as a daring, humorous Valentine's Day skit has turned into a nightmare for a Harare woman Lorraine Gayo who has since been suspended from work and forced to abandon her traditional cell phone number due to abuse. Things turned horribly wrong on Monday, when she was asked to take a break from work while social media went crazy, linking her to an indecent video of someone else. Faced with a bloated WhatsApp inbox and non-stop calls, Lorraine contemplated committing suicide as she struggled to handle the pressure. Although she overcame the suicidal thoughts, she now regrets posting a Valentine's Day joke on her WhatsApp status for a few minutes. Speaking to H Metro, Lorraine said, I put that video on my WhatsApp status for a few minutes, and it was only accessible to my contacts A. Eh? It was surprising that within a few minutes one of my contacts had already downloaded it and eventually circulated it. Now my world is in turmoil, so much that I really consider taking my own life yesterday Monday, because the pressure was just too much. I have been suspended from work until further notice, because of the video, which management felt crossed the line, and brought unnecessary attention to my person and workplace. I regret posting the video on my WhatsApp status. One of my contacts, downloaded it and circulated it, but it was not my intention. Explaining what led to the recording of that video, Lorraine said she had been discussing various aspects of Valentine's Day with her friends, including what they considered as challenges women face on the day, especially if they are not in love. I was discussing with my friends about Valentine presents and one of my friends asked me if I have been receiving Valentine gifts for the past years. I felt challenged, and I decided to record a video, as a joke. It was not the first joke I posted on social media. I once posted a video, where I was talking about not wasting tissues during the time when prices for basic commodities were being hiked, and also in short supplying the cheaty musin kud oil at Kakawanda. I underestimated the damage that this was going to cause, and now my life has been turned upside down. She revealed that her boyfriend seemed taken aback by the skit and the subsequent negativity that has followed. I am looking forward to receiving a present from my lover, although he was disheartened by comments posted by people who saw the video. I had informed him about the video before it went viral, but to be honest with you my bae is not happy," said Lorraine. She added, if truth is to be told, I am a lady who cannot look for men through social media, but I have turned down several men including high-profile people who wanted to date me. By yesterday, Lorraine had received more than 3,000 love messages from various men including high-profile personalities promising to take care of her if she gave them a chance to date her. The person who posted my contact number on social media exposed me to lustful men, among them high-profile people including some who are outside the country. Messages sent by lustful men following the video were almost 4,000 and many thought that I am the one who posed for the indecent video being linked to me. Dot indecent video. People who are linking me to the indecent video are after tarnishing my image. I am not the one on the video. There are little similarities with me, but she is visibly older than me. I am not sure where she comes from, although there are suggestions on social media that the lady is believed to be from Ghana, and her name has been posted as Bridget. I have never recorded her taking a picture of myself without clothes. Lorraine apologized to her family and friends who might have been affected by comments sent by people following the video urging them to pray for her. Pictures with celebs. As the onslaught on her character intensified on Monday, pictures of her with public figures like genius Janimbi Kadunkir, Nelson Chamisa, and Zoe Ishal and Japraza started circulating. I never fell in love with Chamisa, Enzo, Janimbi, and others being posted on social media and reported to have dated me. I have the right to I have a collection of photographs with celebrities like anyone else for my own and children's history, and those photographs were taken on different days, places and were downloaded from my Facebook page," she said. Thomas Matt Fumo. My photograph with Thomas Matt Fumo was on the day when we went to Norton to attend the late Oliver Mtukudzi's funeral. One of my brothers suggested that we pass through an eatery because he did not want Renee to trouble him later. When we got there we met Thomas Matt Fumo and I asked for a selfie with him. Zinariba here kudin to not anana nava Matt Fumo says variki funga then who? Enzo Ishal. Enzo arrived while we were eating our food at Gaia AI asked for a picture with him. It was the same day I met Matt Fumo at the same place. 
The picture itself shows that I was in the middle of eating and I just stood for the picture and nothing more. If ever there was anything between us then we would have waited until I finished eating.